So I want to start off by saying welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, welcome. If you're a fanatic of everything entertainment, this is the channel for you, but in today's movie review, we'll be talking about 1988's Beetlejuice. So let's get into it. So I thought with this year's Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, I thought this would be the perfect time to talk about this movie. And before we get into it, I just want to say sorry for being sick. Um, but yeah, let's jump on into it um, and talk about Beetlejuice. So really quickly, before we get into it, I just want to um, say that this release is very nostalgic to me because this was the first 4K I ever bought and watched. And um, if it wasn't for this movie, I wouldn't have the collection that I do now with 4K. So thanks to Beetlejuice, you know, I just I have love for 4Ks and because of, you know, YouTube channels that got me into it. But that's besides the point. This is really sentimental to me, even though I don't love this movie as much as other people do. But let's get into the things that I do like about this movie. Which the first thing I do like about this movie is the score in here, which Danny Elfman always brings his A-game, especially when he's collabing with Tim Burton, and thankfully they squash their beef and they're continuing to collab with each other to this day, and I think he's doing Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I'm not entirely sure on that one, but either way, I love the score in here. It's one of the best parts about this movie, to be honest. And then the cast in here, you have the likes of Gina Davis, Alec Baldwin, uh, Winona Ryder, Catherine O'Hara, and unfortunately, Jeremy Jones, I believe that's what his name is. Um, if you don't know anything about that guy, look it up. I'm not going to get into it here. Um, but thankfully, his character is dead in the new upcoming film. But yeah, I love the cast in here. You can never go wrong with Winona Ryder. Um, she's one of my favorite actresses of all time. Catherine O'Hara, you can never go wrong with her, especially with uh, her being in the two Home Alone films. I absolutely love Catherine O'Hara, but she is a class A bitch in here. But she she's perfect, you know, in the role. I, I love her in here. And then Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis. I know with what happened with Alec Baldwin uh, recently with Rust, um, but I am hoping to see Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis show up, even if it's for a small scene in the new one. Another thing that I love about this movie is the practical effects. There are quite a bit of green screen and blue screen effects, which are really noticeable. And this was like the first time I ever saw flaws was with this 4K when I saw the blue screen and green screen effects. Well, they don't look that good. The practical effects in here are amazing, which they always tend to be when it comes to Tim Burton. Anyways, he has that certain vibe and aesthetic with all or most of his movies, not all of them, but most of his movies have that you know, very, very unique vibe and aesthetic, and I really love that. The practical effects in here, the animation, which you guys know I love stop motion. Um, I've brought it up several times before. They have a lot of miniatures in here, which I love that as well. Um, and then the character Beetlejuice. I am mixed on him going after Winona Ryder's character uh, because she is 16 in this film. That's a bit weird. That's why I can't watch Labyrinth anymore. That's why I can't watch Orphan and a couple other movies because the subject material. But I do like they call him out as a creep in this movie. So, um, But he is pretty funny. I can't wait to see him again in the role of Beetlejuice, which right here I have the shirt. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I think I got this at Walmart. I think it was like seven fifty. Definitely worth it. Um, and speaking of which... When I wore this on vacation, this dude was like, are you excited for the new one? I'm like, yeah, dude, I am. So, like, I, I can't wait for the new one. But either way, Michael Keaton is Beetlejuice in here. Iconic. It's really weird that he's only in here for, like, 13 to 15 minutes, which I hope we get more of him in the second film. Maybe he gets, like, 30 minutes of screen time, hopefully, because the movie's called Beetlejuice. You would think that he would be in it a lot more than he really is. I do like the relationship between Alec uh, Baldwin and Gina Davis. It's really, you know, cutesy in the beginning. Um... But it's also very believable at the same time. I really like the relationship in here. And then with that being said, let's move on to the things that I'm mixed with. Like I said, some of the special effects in here, the blue screen, green screen effects, they're not entirely the best. But, you know, the practical effects for the most part are really good. Um, it's just some of those blue screen and green screen effects. When you have 4K, you can tell when a scene's about to use those effects, which is something I've noticed, you know, over the last four years, almost four years of collecting 4K. So that's the only thing I'm mixed on. Um, and then, you know, the character of Beetlejuice going after a 16-year-old, that's really weird. That's a, just something that I can't fully get behind in here. Uh, the humor in here hits for the most part, except whenever it in involves, you know, him going after Winona Ryder's character and then him being a bit of a creep to women in general. That's just very weird. But everything else is very funny. His humor, for the most part, does land. It's just some of those things I'm really mixed on. So with that being said, let's move on to the things that I didn't like about this movie. There's not much I can say when talking about not liking any particular scene in this movie. It's just, um, I think with me, I think this movie is um, very overrated. It is good. Like, this and A Nightmare Before Christmas, which is directed by Henry Selleck. I know that, but everyone 
thinks it's Tim Burton. I think those Tim Burton associated films are very overrated. I do prefer this one over A Nightmare Before Christmas, but I've never fully gotten the appeal of this one. I do really enjoy it, which you you guys will see with my rating, but I don't know like I don't I don't know what makes me not like this movie as much as other people do. I can't really put my finger on it either because this movie seems very for me because I myself am very strange and unusual. So, like, I you would think this movie is right up my alley, but it's not fully. It never has been. But I sort of contradict myself because watching it this time and then a few years ago when I got the 4K, I enjoyed it more than I ever did. It was just one of those movies that my mom absolutely loved. And I never fully got behind it. And I still don't. And I can't put my finger on it, which I hate to say that, which is... It's weird that I'm putting this in the negative, but it's just me telling you guys that I've never fully gotten behind it, even though it is a really good film. But with that being said, I'm going to be giving 1988's Beetlejuice an overall grade of an 80%. This is the definition of a B movie. Like I said, it's an 80% for me. And if you like this movie more than I do, you know, I, I sort of get it. Not fully, but either way, I, I do really enjoy this movie. Even though I just went on a little tangent, I am a fan of this movie. I'm just not as big of a fan of it as most people are. But either way, I am excited for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And, and I'm seeing that on Wednesday for the fan of it. I'm going to be seeing it with my wife in IMAX. So I can't wait for that because the trailers did have me sold because I'm like, it's 36 years later. Like, what can you do, you know, for someone that's just a casual fan of the first? What's going to make them excited for a second film? And the trailers had me sold. So, like, I'm excited for it. Maybe I like it more than the first. I'm not entirely sure. But either way, this is a fun time, and I'm hoping the second one's just as much fun. But either way, with that being said, I just want to say thank you guys for watching my videos, and I hope to see you in the next one.